Welcome to the Great Coach Netball planning and review tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll look at using Great Coach Netball during a game and how to review the match results and reports. We will now look at the play mode. This mode allows you to collect statistics, scores, player positions, and interchanges. To enter the play mode, select the game from the clipboard or from the team's fixture, then select the play button. The screen will show you the planned team setup. You can change this by moving players, removing players, or adding players from the team. Tap on the formation selector to change the goal direction. Tap on the center pass indicator to keep track of who is the next center pass. Once you have your starting positions, tap the start button to commence the quarter. Your clock will indicate the remaining time in the quarter. Interchange players as needed during the quarter. To record player stats, tap on a player. The statistics board will then be shown. Tap on one of the stats buttons to record the stat for the player. You can also record the location of goal and goal attempts. Tap on the player, select a goal or a goal attempt, Tap on the location that the shot was taken from. Goals scored for or against your team will update the scoreboard and send a pass indicator automatically. Each player has a time bar indicating how much game time they have. You can also see player game time from the time icon at the top of the screen. If you have planned an interchange at a specific time in the quarter, Reminder arrows will be displayed showing you to make those moves. Make a move and the reminders will be removed. Once the quarter is complete, press the end quarter button. Between periods, you can now review the team statistics and coach's clipboard. The coach's clipboard provides a quick summary of the quarter and may be useful for an address to the players. To view team statistics, tap the statistics button. Scroll to view all the statistics. Tap a column to sort the statistics from highest to lowest. Change the statistics shown using the report selector. To view goals and misses, select the shots report. Tap on individual players or all players to see their shots and misses for that quarter. To position players for the next quarter, Tap the next quarter button. Players will then be positioned to according to your plan. You can then reposition players before the start of the next quarter. Press the start quarter button to commence the next quarter. Reviewing a game. Once the game is complete, you can then review the match statistics, pick best players, write a match report, and then send it to the team. Select match statistics to see the match stats. You can adjust specific stats if required by tapping on the player's statistic. You can send match statistics using the action button. To review the coach's clipboards for each quarter, tap on the clipboard icon. Once you're finished reviewing the game, you can now complete a match report. To edit the match report, tap the edit button. Select the best players by tapping on the best players list. Press and hold and drag a player from your team across into the best players list. Press and hold to reorder the best players list. You may then enter a match report. Select done to save your changes. To distribute the report, press the send match report button to generate a match report email for the team. Your team's email addresses will automatically be added along with a coach, manager and other contacts. Edit your match report email and then send it off before you even leave the court. 